Uh, good evening, everybody. Wanted to show you my ATVator. Basically a pull-born elevator that can haul an ATV up to my second story. So I got uh, three snowmobiles, about four four-wheelers, and I just can't keep it all on the bottom level anymore. So uh, there's another gentleman who built a elevator just like this. Uh, kind of inspired me. Uh, I just built this for more haul and ATVs up to the second story where his is for other kinds of freight. So I have a Harbor Freight 2,000 pound hoist here. Uh, I will put a link to the other gentleman's elevator. It's probably a little bit better made than mine. However, I think this will pull a uh, ATV up just fine. So 2,000 pound hoist that goes uh, up to a horizontal bar here uh, where it has individual pulleys that come down to the main platform. So I'm going to kind of show you how it works. Uh, the one main difference is my hoist is not mounted up at top. I mounted it down here at the bottom. It seems to be working well. Cleaned out my entire garage uh, today. I still have a lot more work to do. Um, but uh, I'll put a wheeler on there and uh, we can see how it, how it goes. All right, so I got my 1995 Polaris Scrambler on there. Done a couple upgrades to it. It's a nice little wheeler that I've redone. When I got it, it was in non-working condition, and now it's all restored. So there are some improvements. I am going to make this kind of in beta mode, I would say. Uh, one thing we're going to be doing is kind of putting a, a door on the edge of this, so you know, if anything ever goes forward, it stays contained. Uh, maybe I'll build a ramp that... Uh, is attached right onto it, folds up into a door. Uh, also, once I get it up there, I plan on putting some rough cup 2x6s uh, across, actually setting the platform on there. It's a nice little safety measure, and if whatever those fail, I always have redundancy in my uh, cables. So I have 730 seconds cable. Everything on each corner is rated for 1,000 pounds, so technically this thing could haul up to 4,000 uh, pounds. Uh, however, I am limited by my hoist of 2,000, but I'll probably never actually uh, pull anything above 1,000. So I put it on there backwards so I can just pull it from the rear instead of uh, trying to drive it off. Uh, let me uh, put this somewhere and I can go from behind and uh, see if we can show you how this sucker works. So that's pretty much that. It goes up to the second story, put those two by sixes underneath it, set it down on it, and drive it right off. Thanks.